My friend A.M.A. Mohit has already inaugurated this symposium, so I'll be brief. I remember uh, 1972, coming back after the War of Liberation into Bangladesh and going into a very remote corner of Shunamganj district called Shalla, where I started work in relief and rehabilitation. There were a number of villages in that area which were completely destroyed by Pakistan army. And I thought that it might, it, it's a good idea to plan a village because it's all destroyed. So my, my, if, I, if I am going to help them to rebuild their homes, I might as well plan their homes properly. So I hired a group of surveyors to go into a couple of villages in 1972 and we tried to build a village with a road uh, going through the middle and the houses by the two sides, like a little town. But it was not something that the people wanted. They wanted to live exactly in where they were before, in whatever little plot they had. So whatever we, our surveyors came out with, that, that this gentleman should be having his plot here, and that lady should be having his, her plot there, and she could build her house there. It was not acceptable. So ultimately, we failed to uh, develop new housing patterns in rural Bangladesh. But then one thinks of uh, housing as only one part of living. It's the um, nat natural beauty that Bangladesh has. Uh, in 1972, almost 90% of our people lived in villages. So they, they lived in an environment in which it was so beautiful that major poets of Bengal have written some unforgettable words about the beauty of Bengal. So I don't think there was much that we could have done to improve living conditions in rural Bangladesh from that point of view. But then, after this 45, four years after that founding of Bangladesh today, we have more than 30% of our people now live in urban areas. And in the next, next 30 years, when Bangladesh's population is likely to be more than around 200 million, it is also projected that Bangladesh will have half its population living in urban areas in the next 35 years, like most of the world presently do. More than half the people of the world today live in urban areas. So urban areas, how to develop spaces and settlements in urban areas of Bangladesh for half the people of Bangladesh where they will be able to live there uh, a productive, creative, and meaningful life. This is a big challenge. And do we have, when we talk about this architecture symposium, architecture uh, now and next, do we have thought leaders, architects, urban planners, uh, do we have them now? Do we, do we have capacity to train them for the future? Um, this is the challenge. The challenge is to get the new generation of thought leaders, architects, town planners, city planners, to be in place, to be able to provide meaningful spaces for people to live uh, a meaningful life. So that's what we... The crux of the symposium today, starting today for three days, will be talking about these issues. And I wish them all the best. Thank you.